Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a database using MySQL script. So here are the steps uh, to create a database from scratch. <clears throat> First, you need to launch MySQL Workbench. After that, you need to create a new schema. Then you run a script that is given to you and I will show you how to run the script. And then after you run the script successfully, then you need to connect to the database and then finally review the tables to make sure that uh, the database has been created successfully and you have all the data in the tables. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to show you how to launch MySQL Workbench. So first click on this icon. When you click on this icon, MySQL Workbench will be launched. Okay. <clears throat> so after you click on this icon, you will get the, a screen like this. Okay. So now what you have to do is you have to connect to the local instance and click on local instance. Basically, you are connecting to the DB server. So when you click on this, you will be able to see <clears throat> the MySQL Workbench editor. <clears throat> okay, so now first thing is you have to create a schema first. <clears throat> so in order to create a schema, first you have to click on this icon. Look at this here. It says that create a new schema in the connected server. So I first click here. When I click here, it is asking for a schema name. Now let me give it a name uh, called um, say let me call this chapter 7 selco mysql demo so let me give this a name okay after that i click on this button called apply when i click on this button called apply it says review the sql script to be applied on the database so basically it says create schema and look at the, it also gives the name of the schema is called chapter 707 underscore selco underscore mysql underscore demo. So now what you have to do is you have to click on this button called apply. When you click on this uh, button called apply, you will get this screen. And in this screen, it says SQL script was successfully applied to the database. So now you close it. Now, if you go here, if you look at this, uh, you will be able to see the schema. Just this is the schema chapter ch07 underscore selco underscore mysql underscore demo. So this is the <clears throat> schema that I just created. Now, if you click on the tables, you won't see anything. The reason is you created a schema, but the schema does not have any tables. So the database does not have any tables. Now, what you have to do is you have to run the script and create tables, and then you have to insert values into the, into the tables. How will you do it? Okay, watch this carefully. Look at the cursor. I take this cursor on the extreme left-hand corner, and it says create a new SQL tab for executing queries. So I click here. When I click here, I get a blank screen like this and this is where you have to write all your SQL statements. So now I already gave you the script. You already have the script. So what I do is I basically open the script. I select all. I copy the script and I paste it here. Okay. now. Before you run the script, you, ha you have to make sure that you have selected the right <coughs> schema. So look at this, I have highlighted the schema and then after you highlighted the schema, then you have to run the script. And how do you run the script? Look at that. Take the cursor here, right here, this yellow icon. This is where um, you have to take your cursor and it says execute the selected portion of the script or everything if there is no selection. So now click on this. When you click on this, you will be able to see that 
<clears throat> all these uh, statements have been executed successfully and I just want to quickly show you what the statements I have executed. So first, if you look at the script, it says <clears throat> drop the table if it exists. So first, um, when you run the script, you need to first uh, do this drop table if it exists. And after that, look at this, we are creating a table called vendor. Look at this, create table called vendor. And under this, uh, all the attributes and their properties are written. Then next, we create a table called product. And you can see um, the name of the attributes for the table product. And after that, we create a table called customer. Uh, then we create a table called invoice. Then we created a table called line. Then we created a table called employee. And then we created a table called EMP. Okay. Now, so first we create these tables writing the script. And then these tables are all empty. So we have to insert values. Now look at this. These are all SQL statements. And we are inserting values first into the vendor table. Then we are inserting values into the product table. Then we are inserting values into the customer table. Then we are inserting values into the <clears throat> invoice tables. Then we are inserting values into the line table. And then we are inserting values into the employee table, EMP table, and then followed by employee table. <clears throat> So this is what we have done so far. Now, then the next thing is you have to connect. Look at this. You have to take this icon here. It says that tables have to be populated by the values. So when you click on this, this the values from the database will be fetched and the tables will be populated. Now, if you click on the tables, you will be able to see. You will be able to see. Uh, customer tables, employee tables, EMP tables, employee tables, invoice table, line table, product table, vendor table. So <clears throat> the key idea here is when you run the script, you need to make sure you not only select the <clears throat> right schema, also you have to uh, select the tables and then you run the script and it will show you that the script has run successfully it shows that the script has run successfully then you click on the tables and you will be able to see <clears throat> each of those tables and not only that when you click on uh, this icon it will tell you <clears throat> that uh, the name of the schema followed by the table name and um, <clears throat> And not only that, uh, suppose if you click on customers, you will be able to see uh, all the columns. So if you click here, you will, see, you will be able to see the columns for this table called customer. You have customer code, customer last name, customer first name, customer initial, customer area code, customer phone, customer balance. And <clears throat> it will tell you the foreign keys and primary keys and so on and so forth. Similarly, for each table, you can review. And if you want to see the content of the table, uh, you can just click on this icon and it will tell you <clears throat> the contents of the table and this is all the contents you will be able to see uh, so so for each table when you click on these icons you will be able to see uh, the data inside those tables okay um, I will continue more on this uh, later on